ladies and gentlemen this is your chef from gurus cooking dot in with kali mirch cream chicken for this friends we will be blanching two onions which have been diced and we'll do this along with a few cashew nuts around half your fist size so friends what is important here is when you add the onions and cashew nuts the water already should be boiling and once you add them just keep them there in the water for 3 minutes that's more than enough or until the onions slightly start losing their color then you put off the flame and let this to cool down slightly and while that happens you can discard the water because we don't need the water and just secure the onions and the cashew nuts something like this we will now grind this into a very fine paste and we'll be using that to prepare our gravy later on now this is slightly dry so i'm going to add in a quarter cup of water to help emaciate the process of making this paste fine and smooth something like this we'll keep this paste aside we'll be using it later on for now guys you grab a very large bowl to that you add around 5 to 6 tablespoons of oil drop in a few garlic strands two bay leaves one star anise and a small stick of cinnamon at a very low flame you will saute this and temper it within a few seconds you'll be adding in the rest of the ingredients the most important one being chicken i have 1 kg chicken with me this has been washed and cuts placed at the right places we will now saute this chicken until it is cooked thoroughly so this will take you around from 10 to 12 minutes for the chicken to cook nicely and evenly during this process please maintain a medium flame because chicken will cook very good at a medium flame and while this happens we'll be adding in some seasoning also but not too many spices because we've already added the whole spices in the beginning so come let's add for taste 1 teaspoon of salt followed by some spiciness which is really important half a teaspoon of black pepper powder freshly crushed once you've added this you will saute and mix this along and like i said the total time that you'll be cooking this for is around 10 to 12 minutes or until the chicken comes off the bone easily the pieces of chicken i've used in this recipe is the leg piece and the thigh piece i have avoided the breast piece because that cooks very fast it doesn't really taste cook in this recipe once the chicken is well cooked and done we'll extract it and we'll keep the oil in which the flavors of the chicken and the aromas of garlic and those whole spices still exist you cannot put the flame to low and here is your chicken which you can keep aside we'll be using it later on So come to this wonderful oil which contains a lot of memories of the chicken let's add the paste of cashew nuts and the onion that we had prepared cashew nuts my friends are very sensitive to heat so please keep the flame to low while you are now sauteing this and keep stir frying it with your ladle continuously otherwise your cashews will stick to the bottom of the pan and they may even burn so be careful So while this is cooking take your time after around 4 to 5 minutes while cooking at a low flame you will now add in a few spices not too many go into this we'll start off with my favorite spice which makes this recipe really important and that is going to be guess <laughs> yes a lot of them So first of all we'll start off with half a teaspoon just half not much half a teaspoon of black pepper powder because we've already added half a teaspoon in the chicken and the recipe itself is called kali mirch cream chicken we added in 
a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of garam masala you can keep adding salt according to your taste i added salt just a little bit this time because when frying the chicken i've already added a lot of salt around a teaspoon of it so the salt totally depends on you i will allow these spices to submerge and mix well in this gravy and that will take around just 2 minutes at a low flame once that is done we will be adding in water just around a cup of water because the cashew nut gravy is too thick to consume and it also seems very light when you add water to it and also cooks the chicken well so just one cup of water and a pinch of kasuri methi because we'll be adding cream in this recipe and there is nothing for contrasting it kasuri methi gives you a little tangy and bitter taste it complements the sweetness of the cream so friends the chicken that we had fried in the beginning completely we are now adding that so this chicken was earlier around 90% cooked now it will cook for 10% and it will also add into those juices that it will release and consume from this amazing gravy the best way to cook this is to cover it with a lid and cook it for around 3 to 4 minutes not much that is more than enough but also remember only at a low flame because you have cashews in the gravy and like i said they will stick to the bottom of the pan if you're not careful so it's been 3 minutes friends we'll extract the lid and we'll also make sure that we check if the gravy is not sticking to the bottom hmm yes it's not so that's good news the chicken has slightly started releasing oil which is oozing at the top and that is the indication that it's time for you to add cream i'm adding 1 cup of cream here friends and when you add the cream please make sure that the flame is low never add cream when your gravy is very hot otherwise your cream will split now we'll cook this only for around a minute or two not much just that's it and after that for a little sourness i have curd here which i've added with a little water and beaten it up to make it some butter milk and that is just around a quarter cup not much i'll be adding in that along with some butter so here goes butter butter will melt in no time and offer you some amazing taste and like i was talking about the curd when you add the curd also remember two things one you add water and skim it nicely so that there are no lumps they look really bad if you have lumps in your gravy and also make sure that you put the flame to a little low when you add the curd just like this so low flame add the curd very less curd please do not add much curd very little around quarter cup or even less we should not feel the sourness in the recipe it should be very 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 low it should not overpower this recipe the recipe is never going to taste of curd nobody should even know that you added curd it's really important you remember that by mistake if you have added more curd when you taste it make sure that you add more cream so we'll sprinkle a little bit of fresh kali mirch that is black pepper once again and we will now put off the flame and relax until you make this recipe and comment in the section below on how it turned out to be ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching kali mirch cream chicken